Hey guys, it's me, 80s from War. Today, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a breaking news. This is a video that I didn't expect to make, and there's a good chance that this video could get terminated and stuff like that. Um, today, guys, we're discussing with you guys Russia, the Russian clubs and national teams are suspended. So FIFA have sent out a statement that all Russian clubs and the national teams will be suspended from the competitions. So let's go read the following. It's coming from the FIFA website. Following the initial ad additions adopted by the FIFA Council of the UEFA Executive Community, which envisaged uh, the adoption of national additional measures, FIFA and UEFA have today, today decided that together all Russian teams, whether national representatives or club teams, shall always be suspended from participation in both FIFA and UEFA content, co competition until further notice. These decisions were adopted today by the Bureau of the FIFA Council Executive Committee of UEFA, respect, respect to the highest decision-making bodies of both institutions on such urgent matters. Football is fully united here and in full solidarity with the people affecting Ukraine. Both presidents hopes that the situation in Ukraine will improve significantly rapidly so that football can again be a vector for unity and peace amongst people. Now, it's a very interesting, very interesting indeed, and I want to give you guys the facts here. Okay, so this I will not insert any of my opinion on here. You know, if you guys want to know my opinion, I'll maybe like tell about it in the comment section below. Um, but let's go ahead and just discuss about this. So what does this mean, right? So Russia is now banned from the World Cup qualifiers. That means that they're not going to take part. And I did hear statements saying that the Poland um, Poland national team, Czech Republic, and I believe, what was the other one? Um, I think it was, um, let me go check. I think it was Poland, Czech Republic, and Austria, I think. All the nations did not want to play against Russia. You know, And obviously, we all know what's going on in Russia. We all know what they're doing right now. Basically, um, they're right now in Ukraine. They're taking charge of Ukraine and basically... Um, everyone is disappointed. And I know it's a very political stuff here, and trust me, guys, I don't want to bring politics into this, but unfortunately, the the under, the problem is that it's affecting football, you know, because right now in the Ukrainian uh, Ukraine over there, they can't even do their football leagues anymore. The league is shut down over there. Everyone is just, like, in disbelief, and it's just a really bad situation, you know, and I just think that for FIFA in particular, I think this was the right decision, you know. This was be the right decision and apparently they even have sponsorships known as the Gazprom which apparently is also going to be suspended as well so you know and I just said for me you can't really have a nation like Russia in the World Cup you just can't because of what they've been doing and and even the people of Russia like even majority of the people over there aren't even like what the people the Russian Federation is doing over there not Russian Federation the Russian government especially Putin in particular and they don't agree with that as actions whatsoever. So if you're seeing that the people don't even agree with that, it just shows how bad it is. And yes, I can understand it's very harsh to punish them. And yes, I can understand that the football of Russia is not really the same as, you know, the government. Because here's the thing, guys. The football in Russia and government is completely different. They're completely different um, entities. And so it's very, I, I can understand why people would criticize FIFA for not, for doing this kind of action. You know, and other nations have done the same thing too, you know. And so why haven't they been punished, you know. And so it's going to be interesting to see how, uh, what's going to happen because let's be real. So this um, RB Leipzig is and the quarterfinals officially, I guess you can say. And as for the World Cup qualifiers, what's going to happen? I have a sneaky feeling that FIFA will allow the third place team, which I believe was Slovakia, to take place for Russia in the World Cup qualifiers. And we'll have Slovakia versus Poland and the other one be Czech Republic versus Austria. You know, and I think we'll have those two games take place. That's what I think. Um, that's what I think could very well happen. You know, I I don't think Poland will be giving a bye to the um the final round of the qualifiers. I don't think they'll be doing that. They very well could, but I I think I think it's I think it'd be in their best interest to actually do that. So that's just my quick opinion, guys, on this whole thing, guys. Like I said, guys, this is a very controversial topic. I am sure this will be very very. Uh, sad and of course guys my best prayers and wishes go to people in ukraine so if you're watching this from ukraine please understand that i am on your side and that major most of the people in the world are on your side to take charge in this and it is very sad man it's very very sad for what's going on so like i said before guys just want to give you guys a quick video on this um this was a bit of an unexpected video if i'm being honest with you so i didn't actually expect to make this in advance so it's kind of an unexpected but you know Things like this can happen in football. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, check out my other podcast. Let's do the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.